Peter has said that the challenge in his organization is actually selling the value of data in the first instance. Um, yeah. yeah, Christy has provided a fantastic response here um, saying that stories of how others are using data to generate insights for improved decision making is, is really what's helping most people, um, you know, I guess sell it sell it up, get the buy-in at an organisation level to actually begin in this area. Is that is that your experience, Adam? Yeah, it, it absolutely is. Um, you know, Christy there is pointing out, you know, stories are an excellent way of, of, um, of, of conveying the value from a human perspective, you know, in, in a particular circumstances and particularly in circumstances where the value proposition is inherently humanistic. So where we're talking about improving the outcomes for individuals in the community, telling a story about how a predictive model was able to intervene at the right time and change the trajectory for somebody in their life. Um, excellent way of selling the value of that data project. Um, it might not always be necessarily about, um, but, but not-for-profits do a variety of different things. So in the example that we saw earlier, which was all about fundraising, for example, uh, then selling the value of a predictive model uh, or, or a data project of that kind, um, take more of a business case, you know, the brass tax type value proposition. So, you know, if we're able to identify, if we're able to shift, for example, our, uh, our engagement rates on a particular type of campaign from, you know, 5% to maybe 15 or 20%, uh, you know, what's that like to look like in terms of return on that investment um, and what's the improvement in our overall fundraising situation that could look like as a result. So some relatively simple back of the envelope type calculations can give you an idea of what kind of benefit you'd see you know, on the fundraising side. Um, and that'll give you an idea as well for, you know, how much budget a project like that ought to receive, um, you know, its first iteration. What's the value we can drive from that project as a first pass? Then we can have a conversation with providers about, you know, how much a project like that might cost and what might be involved. And we can talk about that, um, you know, as well, if, if that might be helpful, perhaps um, a slide or two 